I wonder if you passed me on the street, would you recognize me? Would my name bring familiar slideshows in your head? Are they pleasant or do they bring dark clouds of guilt and regret? Do you still smell like stale alcohol or is your new favorite color orange? If you passed me on the street, would you recognize me? Do you still have permanent ink on your forearms? And do those swirls of clusters and letters remind you of two little girls? Or are you too fucked up to even remember? Or do you care? Are you driving too fast? Did the bottle take your life? So if you saw me on the street, would you recognize me? I tried and failed to keep your attention, but it turns out your attention span is as much as wanting the next beer over your kids, as much as a little girl and her homework, as much as a dog and its bed. If you saw me on the street, would you recognize me? I was young when I first contacted you because I wanted a daddy. Well, that ship has sailed, though I find myself sitting on the dock with my feet dangling in the water and my memories, and that's okay. Because I am no longer that little girl asking when daddy will call. I'm now wondering and hoping that you are dead because that's easier to say than saying my father left me and being labeled under a girl with daddy issues with apologetic stares, a girl with a single mother, a girl with an alcoholic father, a girl who never had a father. So yes, again, I wonder if you passed me on the street, would you recognize me? I wrote this on the afternoon of July 11th, 2015, with my tablet on my couch in the midst of being grounded. I was angry at a lot of things besides myself. I was angry at the world, but my father always came easiest to express about. It's funny because a lot of what I said is true. How I felt, how raw my emotions were, it was all very much true. I hadn't seen you since my graduation in eighth grade, and I haven't spoken to you since over five years. So when I got the news, it shocked me. You were involved in a drunk driving accident, but you weren't driving. You were in a coma, but you woke up. You were in recovery, but you were probably brain dead. I am shocked, but I have hope. I'm angry, but sympathetic. I'm confused, but unafraid. I'm worried, but I don't give a fuck. And I wish that was true, but I know it's not. You abandoned me, but I care. And you probably forget who I am, but I'm your daughter. And if you called, there would be no buts. I'd answer.